Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. So tell me your thoughts. What would you say, what are your thoughts on this statement? It's just as important to feed your mind right as it is to feed your body right. This month, we've been talking about the importance of creating a lifestyle that supports you keeping a healthy mindset. We often think this is a destination. Eh, I'll get there when I'm older. Maybe one day I'll take the time. This stuff isn't for me. It's reserved for those other people. The list can go on and on, but guess what? You are making excuses. I say that with respect and with love because I feel each and every one of us deserves to live our life, the best life here and now. Yes, you. It's not a destination. It's here and now, in this moment to moment, in the choices that we make. It will go up, it will go down, sideways and in circles. But if we create a lifestyle that constantly feeds our mind with the good stuff, we move our life forward in the most awesome of ways. Have you ever heard that saying, what you choose to focus on becomes your reality? Or the concept that like attracts like? Or creating a higher frequency so life will return a high frequency? When we go through hardships, it's easy to be taken over by the darkness, to think, woe is me, life sucks, it's just my luck. I've been there, but the most important piece is to not stay there. And when we consistently feed our mind and keep our mind on the right track, it guides, helps, and supports us getting out from under the dog pile. So as we dig deeper into this concept of consistently filling our cup, what are some things you can do each and every day to start to customize and keep your mind on the right track? Did you know that on average, most adults make up to 40,000 decisions a day, whether they're right or wrong, helpful or make things more difficult, loving or hurtful. It's the moments we all can take a breath and create a path that will lead us towards a better way of life. Whether you realize it or not, you have a lot more control than you realize in making a decision that can and will control the direction of your life. Now, sometimes the unforeseeable happens. Sometimes tragedy knocks at your door. But even in the darkest moments, it's then we can continue to work towards getting through, healing, and leading ourselves towards peace and harmony. So here's some food for thought that could support your every day in making those, shall we say, better choices. This one is a big one that everyone goes through or is still in. Number one, choose to stop feeling sorry for yourself. When we obsess about the past, get stuck in our anger, regret, and sadness, we're living with a sadness, maybe even depression, because we're staying in a broken record in our mind that keeps us stuck in the past. It's the what if, or I wish I could have, or I wish they would have said this, or I wish they would have said sorry, or why did this happen to me? Side note, some of the situations are challenging, and I myself am not a licensed therapist, but if life brings you to a point of going through serious trials, I encourage you to reach out for help. There are people out there that can help you find the healing you deserve. In our everyday, we can take a moment, maybe even a few, to allow ourselves to feel those parts of the process. If you bottle it up, guaranteed it will soon blow out of proportion like a shaken up soda can. Feel it, then get up, dust yourself off, learn from the experience, and push forward. Have the mindset and make a clear, conscious choice to leave the past in the past. Here's another idea. Make the choice to surround yourself with positive people. Like attracts like. Misery seeks company. I'm sure all of us have had that friend that no matter what's happening in their life, life sucks. Maybe 
we've even been that friend. It's time to wake up and make the change. I read an article recently in the New York Times that said, all humans have a tendency to be a bit more like Eeyore than Tigger, to ruminate more on bad experiences than positive ones. It's an evolutionary adaption that helps us avoid danger and react quickly in crisis. But constant negativity can also get in the way of happiness, add to our stress and worry level, and ultimately damage our health. Take a moment or two to notice the environment, the friends, the people you surround yourself with. Are they positive? Are they lifting you up or dragging you down? It's not that you have to disown them, but maybe it's time to make small changes in your day-to-day to surround yourself with the good stuff, the good people. And I've always been told in order to push yourself to be your best self, go to places and be with people who lead the life you desire to live. Be inspired. Success leaves clues and never be the smartest one in the room. There's more to gain from being surrounded by those who will genuinely lift you up and return, you can do the same. What's that saying? It's less important to have more friends and more important to have real ones. And last but not least, choose to flip the script. Even in the most challenging times, our choices and our mindset can change the script. It's actually something I practice each and every day when I catch myself becoming negative about a situation. Here's some examples. Here's one you hear all the time, but is so important. Flip I can't into I can. How about instead of saying I can't complain, which holds two negatives, can't and complain, even though the implication can seem positive, try everything is going good. Thank you. Here's another common one. I forgot. Flip the script and instead of labeling yourself as a forgetful person, say, I'll set a reminder. When communicating with others, there are so many ways we can flip the script, which makes communicating so much more constructive, productive, and pleasant. And how about instead of saying don't, say, I like it when. You're still getting your point across, but it's less accusatory, less conflict-based, and more welcoming to the other party. I statements are huge as well, even to ourselves. I am, I feel, I can. It may seem silly at first to start to flip the script, but the idea is we're feeding our mind and creating a mindset that's beneficial for not only you, but everyone and everything around you. So what are you going to start practicing? How are you going to make changes that work for you? We're here to explore the world's food for thought and support you in making today better than yesterday. If you found value in the Lone Doctrine, we would be so grateful for your support. We've partnered up with Patreon, which is a place where you can help us stay on air and keep our doors open in supporting our listeners in making today better than yesterday. Thank you for your consideration, your support, and a very special thank you to our current Patreons who make the Lone Doctrine possible. We hope to see you at patreon.com slash Lone Doctrine. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Lone Doctrine. Also join us on Facebook, Instagram, and let us know your thoughts. And as always, keep fighting the good fight. It's a great-